Many things, the waiting really is the hardest part. But can you imagine as a teenager today waiting six years to get on social media? For most teens, that wait might as well be 60 years. But one Minnesota teen had some serious incentive to wait until his 18th birthday. Here's ABC's Will Gans with his story. It all started with a bet between mother and son. Would you ever want to stay off social media um, till you're 18? I'll give you $1,800. Totally got scammed. <laughs> and at 12 years old, 1800 bucks sounded like a million to Seaver Clefsis. I was just like, oh, sweet, I'll get a new car and I'll be all set up for a nice little house. So he took the deal, an idea that had come to mom Lorna after seeing Seaver's older sister's deal with social media. And so the 18 for 18 challenge was born. If Seaver could last six years without social media, mom would have to pay up. I was like, I don't need it. So I was like, I can do it. And I said, you, this is just a bet. If you decide you want social media, you can get it. Seaver had a phone, just no social media, swapping the gram for good grades and TikTok for three pointers. He's a good student and a good athlete. I think he invested that time into those things. I think it shows. Although when it comes to meme culture, viral videos, and trends... So sometimes I just roll with it, like I just pretend like I was news going on. But when Seaver turned 18 this week, all of that changed. The high school senior is now on Snapchat and Instagram, where his bio reads, I'm new here, be nice to me. No, seriously, I feel like a senior citizen. Seaver's still getting his Snapchat sea leg, so to speak. There's definitely a learning curve. Uh, I his, think eventually, his sister helped him. Eventually I'll figure it out, yeah. His sister came helped in him with, the first, with yeah. his first post. Mom sharing the results of Seaver's 18 for 18 challenge, where else? On Facebook, saying it's the best money she's ever spent. Now that he's old enough to realize that 1800 bucks probably won't buy him a new car and a down payment on a house, I asked what Seaver wants to do with his winnings. He says he'll probably spend it on a new TV for his dorm room when he goes to college in the fall. Will Gans, ABC News, New York.